some men are gourmet chefs when it comes to cooking while camping. I am not. Today on Rat and Cat, the horrible camp chef. My camp cook fails. <coughs> Welcome to Rat and Cat, where we search for those who have gone missing so others can learn how to survive. I'm often in awe when I see these bushcraft survival guys whittle out whole furniture sets for their overnight camping trip into the woods. Or they haul in fancy cast iron wood stoves, or half their garden in fresh produce for a colorful gourmet meal. While I admire these men, I often feel like I don't have the time, like I need to get to the task at hand, which for me at Rat and Cat is looking for people who've gone missing and potentially are deceased. It really doesn't put me in the mood to sit back, relax, and cook a gourmet meal. Plus, after a few too many concussions, I can be a little bit slow in the morning. Needless to say, this has led to some really horrible and sometimes amusing meals. Here are some of my camp cook fails. Not that good. Don't try it. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a hasty gourmet meal when you're in the outdoors. You'll need oatmeal, a strawberry, a packet of cream cheese, some water. I broke my other regular water bottle so I've got a disposable here. First of all, take your oatmeal. Put a strawberry on it, eat the strawberry, mm. open your packet of oatmeal. Now I know a lot of people like to cook their oatmeal, that just takes a lot of time, extra fuel. So why not just add water? You don't have to deal with a spoon or cleaning up with a spoon. Just swish it around a little bit. Mm. Tasty. And you can just drink your oatmeal. Sometimes I'll just have it dry. Kind of chokes me up a bit though. Some of you guys know I've complained about having just sweet things for breakfast, a protein bar or something. One thing I like about straight string cheese is that um, it will last. You don't have to keep it refrigerated. It just gets zingier. And there's nothing like having zingy, salty string, string cheese when you're outside for breakfast. Except for having a really nice cooked breakfast. Which a lot of people I know like to do. But, uh, I don't know, personally I just don't have a lot of time for that. Uh, I've got places to go and things to see. So, there you have it. Hasty tips. super excited because Cody brought his camp stove. I was kind of in a rush and didn't bring mine. But I'm really... So... We're using this camp stove that I've never used before. It's, like it's brand new. Is that right, Cody? That's right. Somehow that doesn't seem right. Woo! Got it. That's how you do it, YouTube. I'm all about doing things the right way the first time. But still skipping the instructions. Who <laughs> needs instructions? I was hoping it was a self-lighter. Now I have to go get my lighter. As I was saying, always... Uh, am I in the shot? As I was saying, always turn off your burner, your stove valve, before you start your fire. Always use waterproof matches when starting a stove, especially when you 
forgotten your lighter. Yeah. It's got a striker on the side. Oh, it's got a striker on this. I always use the striker on the side. Thank you, Cody. You could start a forest fire with that match. Yeah, holy cow. It's like a flare. Perfect. Wow. I'm going to lose my front teeth. Cold protein bar. <laughs> it's just a divorce now. And as my buddy Brian taught me, always have coffee in the morning and everywhere. He carries a stove with him everywhere, and he would stroll through boulder fields with his cup of coffee in the mountains. Casual as can be. Uh, thanks, Cody. Welcome. Made my morning. And that, YouTubers, is how you make a cup of coffee with authority and confidence. Because that's what's popular on YouTube. Also, it's always good to bring something along or take something home with you to remember your trip. And so I'm going to take this frost bird on my thumb from the stove to remember my trip. It's actually kind of small. It's not, it doesn't even hurt anymore. Of course, I don't really feel pain. My final cooking for the tip, tip for the day, my, fi uh, my final breakfast cooking tip is don't even bring a spoon. Who needs a spoon when you've got a package? Ooh, hot, hot fire, hot. Uh. And you've got a package to stir. Your delicious drink. Mmm, smells exotic. I've also got a bonus tip. Try using a protein. Oh. I've also got a bonus tip for those early. When you're out looking for missing people, and wanting to beat that morning traffic. I've got a little bonus tip. Try eating a protein bar instead of taking a long time to have a big, delicious, tasty, salty, savory, unsweet, delicious breakfast. My protein bar will work too. Mm -hmm. How about you? What are some of the best and worst wilderness meals that you've ever put together? Let us know in the comments below and I'll try to share them in the future. I'm also making plans to spend extra time searching cold cases for people who've gone missing in the wilderness in this area. There are only a few months out of the year where the snow is melted enough for me to search for some of these people. That's why I need your help making more time to search for more people. Click on the link in the description below to visit my new Patreon page and learn how you can support Rat and Cat, where we search for people who have gone missing so others can learn how to survive.